Hi everybody, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. The sun's been pretty active. Evidently yesterday, sunspot area 3363 threw out an X-class flare that the Russians are saying is going to impact the Earth. Um, today, in fact, it might interfere with GPS or satellites, radio, uh, different types of communication. 3372 has been really active. It has thrown out a lot of M-class flares. And this is um, Earth-directed. Uh, 3363 shouldn't be Earth-directed. So going to Soho, I'm going to play this. It starts out at the 15th and goes all the way up through today. Yeah, you can see that one area on the right, how active that uh, location is with all the sunspots. Yeah, there was even a, um, an asteroid that looks like it might have impacted the the sun. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I'll have to start it over again before you... There it goes. See it? I believe that was on the 16th. And we'll let it play one more time. The asteroid is over here. You have to be watching to catch it pretty quick. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Here on SpaceWeatherLive.com, it shows the uh, most recent solar flares that we've had. And we got 3372. Uh, 3372, like I said, it's been really active. We got an M1.7, an M4, an M3.9. And it goes all the way up to the most recent, which was Sunspot Area uh, 3372 with a C3.9. 3363 is not Earth directed, but the Russians are saying that a powerful solar flare activity is forecast for today, which may interfere with shortwave communication. Uh, the Russian scientists said that there was three flares observed on the sun on Sunday, yesterday. The X-class flares uh, are still possible, including proton flares and shortwave uh, radio conditions were expected to deteriorate. Yeah, I don't know how that would happen when it's not really Earth-directed, but that's what they're saying. Um, now, Class X flares are the largest explosions in the solar system and can create long-duration radiation storms. Proton flares are a storm of solar energetic particles composed chiefly of protons. I might be worried about this one here. Now, the Carrington event, if that were to happen today, um, that was actually probably an X-40. And, yeah, can you imagine if we had that happen? Everything would be fried probably here on Earth. We depend so much upon our electronics. I've talked about this article I read. It was on CNN, so take it with a grain of salt. But it says, as the sun nears the peak of its current solar cycle, our star is growing increasingly active. And that peak may be occurring sooner than predicted, according to scientists. Initial peak activity was forecast to begin in July of 2025. Now, experts believe the uh, cycle peak is more likely to take to take place um, in mid to late 2024, which sure been active lately. The current solar cycle, known as Solar Cycle 25, has been full of activity, more so than expected. Scientists at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Space Weather Prediction Center in Boulder, Colorado, have already tracked more sunspots than those counted at the peak of the previous cycle. The increased activity has also included strong solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or la large clouds of ionized gas called plasma, and magnetic fields that erupt from the sun's outer atmosphere. The solar storms generated by the sun can affect 
electric power grids, GPS and ab aviation, and satellites in low Earth orbit. It creates a drag on them, brings them down faster, sooner. These events also can cause radio blackouts and even pose risk for crews in our on space missions. A well-known example happened when a series of coronal mass ejections erupted on the sun on January 29th of 2022, causing Earth's outer atmosphere to heat up and expand. This expansion caused 38 of the 49 Starlink satellites launched up by SpaceX to burn up. Yeah, it creates drag on them, like I said. Yeah, it's been really active for the last three days. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.